Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Tech Ninja Plays. Everything you need to know about the Shadow Main, let's rapid fire through these. They only spawn in Rockwell's garden. To tame them, you have to sneak up to them while they're sleeping and then feed them fish baskets. Obviously, it has to have fish in it and they have to be above 0.5 in size. However, you can only do this during the day since they sleep during the day and they're active at night. They are breedable. They do not require a saddle. However, they pretty much have this, it's pretty much built-in armor. The higher level you get them when they tame, the better armor it will have. Since they can't have saddles, they have this as a replacement. Two people can ride them at once. As for their attacks and abilities, they have quite a few. Left click, normal attack. Right click is this teleport attack here. You do have to hold it. Boom, just like that. And it does a little stun there. And this attack does chain on top of that if there are multiple targets. They have another special build if you hold the space bar then they jump really far or really high as you can see. And if you do this ability but hold a side key then they go to the side instead. This also works for going backwards. If you press C you will go invisible which actually makes dinos lose aggro on you as you can see there. Now unfortunately I do not know the controls on uh, console I will put that out there from now. You can literally go invisible and shoot things and they won't even attack you. However, both males and females have something unique about them. The female, if you hold down C, it will make all allies nearby to go invisible as well, even if they're not shadow mains. However, I do believe they need to be mate boosted for this to work. As for the male's bonus ability, first of all, if there are multiple, and again, I do believe they have to be mate boosted, they have pack leader boost, as you can see there. And then when you press X, again, they have to be mate boosted. All other shadow mains will get um, a pack boost. On top of that, the player and nearby dinos, again, don't have to be shadow mains for this one, will get this raw boosted. As you can see, stamina and torpidity recovering is increased and extra movement speed. If we run here, you can see they are a lot faster with this boost. It actually really helps out a lot. There's another ability they have. If you look right below where it shows, shows the boost, sorry, the abilities, and right above the hopper, there's this bar. The more damage you deal, the more this fills up. Once this fills up, you will get this bar right here. Boom, there you go. And now our next attack. Whoops, sorry, my bad. You have to hold left click. There you go. Does more damage, which is pretty neat. And if that attack is the final hit, it actually instantly recharges them. So let's say this pack of raptors here and boom, there we go, instantly refill, and boom, instantly refill. These fellows are extraordinary swimmers, one of the best and the fastest creatures in the water. I mean, just look at them. I mean, after all, they are kind of designed after a lionfish. It's even in their name. Well, not their technical name, in their code name. And as you can see, they get the hydrated buff. Okay, let's just go ahead and get that level up thing out of the way. As you can see, they get the hydrate buff when in water too, which is another neat bonus. These fellows are extraordinary. They're extremely powerful. They have great stats and their pack boost makes it even better. Plus all the extra abilities. They really are pretty strong creatures. But there you go. Everything you need to know about the Shadow Mains and all their abilities from Arc Genesis Part 2. I do just want to say, please do keep in mind, since the DLC just got released, things may be changed in the future or even added. So this video is at least of the moment. Well, that is it for today's video. If this video did help you or if you did enjoy, then please do like and subscribe as it really does help me out a lot here on YouTube. Of course, you don't have to. It's completely your decision at the end of the day. But with all that out of the way, I will catch you all next time. Have a good one.